Welcome back guys, another vlog, NVM vlog. This one is trip to Geneva. We're actually taking the NVM2 and the NVM 460G Golf R to Geneva Motor Show today. Um, well, we're actually going tomorrow, but today we're driving into France, grabbing the uh, Eurotunnel from Folkestone into France, and then driving down into France, staying in France one night, um, going to Switzerland tomorrow, coming back, staying in France again, and then back to UK. Um, so yeah, a long weekend at Geneva. Um, we're with NVM Engineered and NV Forge, so have a look on the social media and Instagram and stuff like that to keep up to date where we're going and what we're doing. Um, so yeah, catch all the action in this video. Hopefully we get enough content for you. It is difficult to kind of create content and do road trips as we've seen before. So we're gonna see what we can do. Catch you guys in a bit. So guys, I'm French land, still in England um, at Folkestone. The 0950 train um, was full for some reason. Um, and we booked a, a taller car, wider car, and now they've siphoned us off to the standard car queue. And now the 1020 has been delayed for some technical reasons. So let's see what happens. See you in a bit. So guys, we are now in France. So yeah, both the Golf R and the M2. We've had to stick our GB stickers on and set the car for left hand drive headlights. Um, but yeah, all loaded up, ready to go. First stop is Calais. Um, sit down, have a bite to eat, and then make our way to Reims. Um, probably go straight to the hotel and then the Reims race circuit. <laughs> Just got to the hotel in Reims and just checked in um, and we're literally gonna pop back out and go find the Reims racetrack. Photos and videos there. So here we are, Circuit de Rims, that's how you pronounce it. So I'm guessing these used to be the pit garages. The stands up there. Injected Gold Forest State. Wow. Well, a lot of history at this racetrack. A lot of history.
Geneva Motor Show 2019. We're actually coming through the back today because um, we missed a few yesterday when we popped in to see a few people. We're just going to walk around. Have a look at some of the cars. Toyota's full hybrid line. So that's the new BMW Supra B58. Basically, as I said before. It does look really pretty though. Looks better than a Z4 anyway. Sounds like an M140 when they started off. Available in different colours obviously. Really like this colour. We've got their Toyota racing concept as well. Which I think looks a lot more like a Toyota Supra. Than a BMW Supra. The actual extended front nib. And the big wing on the back. Should have made a production model. RCF track. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S is on there. Must be serious. I'm not usually a fan of American muscle, but this is a beast. Gorgeous. For the McLaren stand. Massive fans of McLaren at the minute. So the new 720S Spider. Absolutely beautiful. I think that's Aura Blue. The lines on it are amazing. In his range of cars, it's the new XD, XD4. No doubt they'll bring out for the new X3, X5, and X6. Classical Alpina design and style. This one's like 388 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters. Basically, uh, twin turbo, 35 diesel engine. Not bad in there. MPV coupe. That's interesting, the new Alpina B4, 452 brake horsepower, 680 newton meters, which is the twin turbo version of the N55 engine, with unique charge cooling and intercooling. I've actually got one coming in in a couple of weeks um, for, for some work, so we'll have a look at the engine in a bit more detail. Absolutely huge front kidney grills on the new 7 Series. It's a Mansory Chiron. Full forged carbon body panels. Custom wheels. Classic Mansory carbon fiber here. 
Like five years ago, they released this type of carbon fiber. Too good having said, too much. Good stuff there. On an SV. First one being in the UK. It's a new A35 AMG, the baby A45. Still quite powerful, not to 60 and stuff. Typical A class design. Yeah. Rose gold finish on the wheels. Can't wait for the new A45 to come out. Should be in 400 and 450 brake horsepower models. Awesome era. The only new Z4 there, or should we say two to Supra? Obviously in a hard top version, but yeah the chassis is same dimensions and length and underpinnings of the Supra, as is the interior. It's quite cool in this frozen grey. Again, B58 powered, so M140 engine. Yeah, S55 engine. Not a new car from BMW. A couple of months old now, but still gets a lot of attention. Next to the new M5. New M340i, three series is absolutely gorgeous. This has got the whole carbon fiber work on there as well. And performance optionals. It's a lot of cars so we can't get in. Optional brakes. Gorgeous car. Again, run up to the new M3 this is. I don't know if you can see, but it's an extra version. Yeah. Success in the TCR Cup. Interesting livery on the side. Um, the interior is pretty much the same, it's got a different stitching on there. Generally, Golf GTI Special Edition. One that's caught our attention is the uh, VW T Rock R, which is an amazing little sports utility vehicle. It's got a crop of ish full exhaust system. Go for our engine, essentially in platform, brake suspension, or similar suspension but brakes. Engine, 300 brake horsepower go for. Yeah. Four wheel drive, obviously. Interesting. Could have come Geneva Motor Show with that, going to the Cooper stand. So there's the Cooper RST, so the estate version. All the carbon bits on there. Absolutely mint. The interior is very Cooper R. The bronze work. Surprisingly, it hasn't got the bronze mirror caps. It's got the bronze wheels, the sub 8 caliper and disc pack. And it's got the 300 brake horsepower engine. Lovely colour this. It's a lovely front splitter. If you can have a look at it. 
Lovely paint colour as well. The orb they released this colour to the hatchback versions. Another one which is a special edition. Don't know if it's coming to Europe. Well, don't know if it's coming to the UK, sorry. But yeah, Cupra Ateca. Special edition with a copper vitre exhaust, similar to the T Rock R. 300 brake horsepower, four wheel drive. And a lovely grey. A less in grey. It's got this um, new type of carbon fibre with kind of bronze weave in there. It's pretty cool. And it's obviously wearing the new Cooper badge. Familiar engine for all of us. I've seen it loads of times before. A lot more space in this, so I'm gonna go uh, top man turbo. This is the one. Surprisingly, it's only 1700 kilos in weight. So with about 600 brake horsepower, this could be the new daily. <laughs> Quite interesting, they've got bronze inserts in the tips, just look amazing. Massive Cooper fans, we are loving the new the new brand. You can see the Regera R in uh, full carbon, raw carbon. True engineering masterpiece. You can stare at this car for hours, just looking at all the details. Probably my favourite car at the show. This. So it runs sixteen hundred brake horsepower on the E eighty five. Twenty inch wheels at the front, twenty ones at the back. Crazy wing. So that's the heart of the new Jesco. Kropovich exhaust, the standard. Turbos themselves look like tiny turbine housings. Carbon fibre everywhere, cam covers, intake manifolds. Zembo's new TSR. Show you the specs, absolutely gorgeous car. New pinion for arena car. Based on the new F8, I believe. Chassis. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably the best looking car at the show. Never leave probably about 3,000 horsepower. 0 to 60 in less than a second or something. No in Bugatti. <laughs> Ferrari 
really have put some working into their new designs. So low. Very 488-esque, but really low. And it's got smoother lines. So, that's a wrap guys, that's our road trip to Geneva, um, we're actually going back to Reims now, France, we're going to stay there one night and then head back to Calais in the morning and then head back to NVM um, in the afternoon, Monday afternoon and um, we've been through quite a few tanks of fuel, which we haven't vlogged, but if you followed us on Instagram and stuff like that you would have seen exactly um, what it was. Um, but yeah, thanks again guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We are going to do a few more road trips. Um, one to Nürburgring, one to Austria um, and one to Monaco as well. So we'll try and um, plan it a bit better. This was a bit last minute. So until the next one guys, catch you in a bit. So on the way into Geneva, we went over the mountains um, through the snow and stuff um, in a rear wheel drive and it wasn't the most entertaining to prepare. Um, with PS4 races on the way back. Ah. Uh.